the Pac-12 died so the you, the Miami Hurricanes, could live. Or at least it seems that way. But I am not saying that a healthy surviving Pac-12 would have meant that Mario Cristobal would have stuck around Eugene. Dude was probably always going home to his alma mater when that job opened up. But if Cristobal leads Miami to an ACC championship in 2024, it will be in large part because the conference that I love was blown to smithereens by a combination of incompetence, corporate greed, and the LA schools being afraid of Utah. Now I'm joking about the last thing, only the last thing, but seriously, the death of the Pac-12 led to Oregon State running back Damian Martinez trying to find a bigger stage to showcase his rushing talents. And he took his back-to-back six-plus yards per carry seasons to South Beach. Damian Martinez has 2,167 rushing yards over the last two seasons. And that's over a 1,000 more yards than Cam Ward, Miami's quarterback, got out of his feature back Nakia Watson during Ward's time at Washington State. Cam Ward, of course, left Washington State and took his name out of the NFL draft consideration to spend his final year at the University of Miami. And there's been a lot of hype around Cam Ward. And I can tell you right now that I have seen him play as much as any commentator in the entire country. He does some things I don't like in an attempt to extend plays. But trust me when I say he is very, very good. And ACC defenses should be afraid because this could be his easiest year yet. Why might you ask? Well, first, the talent around him is far beyond anything he's ever experienced. At Washington State, Cam Ward's top six receivers in terms of production had a combined four offers from Power 5 schools out of high school, and two of them were five foot eight. Now, at Miami, Mario Cristobal went out and got Cam Ward three of the top high school wide receivers in the country. Plus, they have Sam Brown coming over as a fifth-year junior from the University of Houston and bringing over 800 yards receiving with him. Plus, Jacoby George and Xavier Restrepo returning to Miami this year gives Cam Ward three wide receivers that had at least 800 yards last year. But those weapons aren't the reason why I think Cam Ward could blow up and win himself some serious postseason hard work. And like I said, if Miami wins, they'll have the Pac-12 to thank. And I'm not even talking about the conference's cast off. I'm talking about the defenses that Cam Ward had to face, not just in the conference, but in practice every single day. Cause some years you could have made fun of the Pac-12 for its defenses, but not last year. The Pac-12 was absolutely stacked. Cam Ward took on a top seven team in Oregon, Washington, who was in the national championship, UCLA, who put out a good defense, and Cal last year, all on the road, and averaged 330 yards passing in those games. But the defense that got after him the most, it was his own. It got cooked up by North Dakota State disciple Jake Dickert and coached by Brian Ward and Jeff Schmettig. Washington State may have been 2-7 and seven in the Pac-12 last year, but they were in the top half of a bunch of defensive categories because that scheme gives people's fits. Here's Cam Ward at the ACC football kickoff talking about exactly that. This is probably my best spring um, as a whole um, out of all my college careers just because I got a chance to see a lot of this stuff. Um, I'll probably say the biggest thing about those defenses at Wazoo and Coach Dicker is that they bring a lot of exotic blitz looks. Um, really don't know where they're coming from. Uh, but at the end of the day, you got to get the ball out. Uh, the ball will beat pressure by everybody 100% every time. If you get the ball out, you know, you'll save your team from negative loss. Um, whether that's throwing it deep, having timing, um, quick game, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, timing and footwork takes care of everything. Uh, you know, me and the receiver on time, it doesn't matter. They come cover zero. If I get the ball out on time, the receivers are at the right spot on time and take care of everything. Dude sounds calm and confident, doesn't he? I hate that the Pac-12 had to die, but people all over the country are going to see this year exactly what type of players that we were dealing with out there on the West Coast. Because whether it's the ACC having way too much to worry about with Cam Ward and Damian Martinez, the Big 12 is going to have to figure out what to do with Utah in the trenches, or the Big 10 absorbing two of the last year's top three offenses in USC and Oregon, or two of the last year's top 15 defenses defenses in Oregon and UCLA, it is going to be very interesting. 
But for Miami, this is a one-time opportunity to plug and play two stars from schools that failed to find a new conference and weren't quite ready to make the leap to the pros. If the Miami Hurricanes are still playing meaningful football past November, as the official ambassador of the Pac-12's ghost, I'm gonna wanna thank you card, or at least some leftover life wallet NIL money.